Well, the main weather story for the time being is the very cold night ahead. Even though the wind's going to be calm, some places will drop below 20 below zero. And with that, some freezing fog. I think in some places in rural areas, visibility could drop a half mile or less. With a lot of heavy frost, too. And then it turns windy by later on in the week. By Thursday, a cold front will pass through it. At most, it may bring a few flurries Thursday night. Then we watch accumulating snow and perhaps some ice late Friday into Saturday, followed by what still looks to be much warmer weather. 50s, even some 60s by later on next week. But that seems worlds away tonight. We'll be down below zero already by 9. Down to 11 below by 3 a.m. and 14 below zero in the Lafayette, West Lafayette area by 7 a.m. And then it's back to 8 by 11 a.m. Viewing area wide, uh, 21 below will do it up at Winnemac, 20 below Rensselaer. From Monticello and Chalmers down to Brookston, around 17 below zero, 18 below at Fowler, and 14 below at Lafayette, and about 19 below zero at Frankfurt. For tomorrow, with all the sunshine, we said to warm up some. We're talking upper single digits to mid teens from the 9 at Winnemac to the 13 Lafayette, 14 Covington, and 12 Frankfurt. Good news is not necessarily a lot of wind, so with all the sunshine, it'll still, still feel warmer than what it actually is. This has been the pattern all winter. Very deep trough in the eastern U.S. with a very frigid air. And of course, with the subtropical jet being so active, where the polar jet and subtropical jet kind of merge, we've seen several significant snowstorms in our area too, whereas it's been record dry and record warm in the west. Well, the pattern is already showing signs of changing. The whole flow is kind of flattening out now. And I think we'll see the pattern totally flip around uh, by later on next week. Much warmer air coming in. The problem with this is, the moisture from deep in the Pacific will begin to stream towards our area. And as we melt all the snow and get some rain in here, I think at the very least, river is getting at least a little bit of a, a buff flood stage. We'll keep an eye on that. The gray on this future cast product indicates areas of fog developing tonight, freezing fog that is. So have the uh, windshield scraper handy in the morning. That burns off, then just a few clouds perhaps tomorrow afternoon with a lot of sunshine. But notice the clock up here. Tomorrow night, 1130, still mostly clear skies, still below zero, about six below tomorrow night before high and mid-level clouds stream in by Wednesday. And that precedes this cold front that will pass through Thursday. It's going to crank the wind up. Winds will be westerly and southwesterly up to 30, 35 miles an hour. And then by Friday, Saturday, the cold air behind that front comes southward. Then we take warm air and put over the top of it. And we're looking at a band of snow, perhaps even some icy precip. And I do think there will be a three to six inch snow band somewhere. The question is this far out, it's very hard to tell where that's going to set up. It could be in the heart of the viewing area, it could be in our northern counties. We'll keep an eye on that, but I do think snow and some icy precip, a very good bet. And then it starts to warm up after those 20s for Friday and Saturday, 35 Sunday, 42 if you rain showers Monday, and we could skyrocket into the 50s, perhaps as early as Tuesday, and maybe even exceed 60 in a few places. Uh, later on next week. You're singing the right tune. Uh, <laughs> we're there. We've been talking about this a long time, long time and we're yeah. getting closer and closer. Sounds good, Chad. Thanks. Uh, we're talking Pacers tonight.